that we've all composed ourselves, we have the, I'm assuming it's just like taffy, but it's, it's cola flavored. And being as though it's the same brand or whatever as those little chewies that we just ate, this might be a little sour too, I'm not sure. I don't know, there's flames on it, so it's either sour or it's hot. But I can't imagine they'd have hot cola. Oh, but I can because I can oh, smell man. it. Oh, yes. God! <laughs> this is going to be good because this is spicy cola. Why? Oh, That's okay. a spicy meatball. <laughs> oh, goodness. In three, two, and one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's spicy and sour at the same time. Oh yeah, that is good. I'm glad I only took a small piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> oh, did you eat any of it? I know you sat there and licked it earlier. Mm. It's not even really mm. spicy. It's got like a, mm. what's that flavor? Maybe cinnamon or mm -hmm. ginger maybe? Cin mm. It's kind of cinnamony. <laughs> 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 See in the mini 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 Thank you. We all know what caramel tastes like. Yeah, if this is another one of those bad tasting ones. Well, we can all just eat these. I yeah. mean, caramel, everyone knows what caramel yeah. tastes like. Alright, so, but this might be a different type of caramel, though. <clears throat> Never know. Down the hatch. Very chewy. Yeah. Like a... <laughs> kind of like a sugar daddy. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? I like sugar daddies. It's sugar babies. No, oh, sugar daddy is the stick. It's the long one. Sugar babies are the small ones. They're like little candies. <coughs> uh -huh. um, very good flavor. Mm -hmm. Just your if you tongue. have fillings, be careful because they will pull your fillings out probably. Yeah. Definitely mm -hmm. with that peach one. Mm -hmm. Very, very chewy. Mm hmm. Yeah, chewy, but sour. Really sour. So. The devil of all. The, the peach was really good though. The peach was, I mean, really it was good. sour. It yeah, was good. the sour kicked in. All right. Like. So that's all from that little yum bag. Now it's in the tea. Now we have Samoy chocolatier from, from, from France. Dark this is 47% cocoa sea salt crystal dark chocolate. And I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's okay. Yeah. I, I like milk chocolate, chocolate better, but it's okay. I'm interested to see what it's going to be like with the sea salt crystals in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Salty. Interesting with sea salt, but no caramel. Right. So, let's go ahead and break that like that. I don't know how many. doesn't feel, yeah, it's like two big squares, so we'll cut, we'll do each of those in half. Yeah. Bella wants her piece. Bella doesn't get a piece of this. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. <laughs> All right. Never. There's your piece. Anakin? I can see the... Lady Phoenix? Thing. Oh, yeah, I can smell the cocoa. Oh, no, yeah. Yep. But I don't see, like, sea salt crystals. The picture shows sea salt crystals on the inside of it, and I don't see any sea salt crystals, but there's a little piece of chocolate. Mm. 
Mm. Not I bad. I love their sea salt crystals. Not bad though. I don't really taste the salt. I, I just mm. bit into one. Yep, there we go. I don't really taste the salt either. Keep chewing. Yeah, just keep chewing. <laughs> They're in there. Or this could be like the freaking Skittles challenge. He doesn't get anything. <laughs> I think he just likes the taste of zombie Skittles. <laughs> no. He did say that he later on did get one. I definitely smelled it on his breath. <laughs> definitely. All right. So this is, this next one is what I was most excited about. And I'm, I kind of really want to save that for last now. We'll save it for last. Okay. Then we'll do this one. We are going, this is a nice, pretty box. It yeah. is French dusted truffles almond flavor. Ooh. Well, you guys didn't like the dusted truffles earlier, so I don't know if you're going to like this nuts. one. This is No, it doesn't say it has almond. nuts. Almond flavor. Still has nuts. Uh, now, we know how much you love your nuts. Yep. Just I can't get into the box. Do you need some help? Perfect. You need some help by lady. I got it. I got it. I got, got it. it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've got it. <laughs> these are, I think these are bigger. When will we get stuff from Japan? Uh, eventually. We're going to get stuff from all over the world with this, this box here. Oh, yeah. oh, no, these are about the same size. There's just a lot of them. So, I'm just going to pull one out. On. It looks like it needs another little bowl of turd. That one looks more like a turd than the last one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you have to actually chew this one up. Because if not, you're just going to get the cocoa again. Yeah, just stick it in your mouth Wait this there. time and, and chew. Keep chewing. <laughs> oh, that face. <laughs> oh, no. No, all you're getting is cocoa. you got to chew it. Yeah, you got to get to the chocolate. you got to get past the cocoa. Better. You just grabbed the wrong one. You know you you know that that that's the same cocoa like in your chocolate hot chocolate mix, right? Mm -hmm. This is just dusted on top of. Here. It's not. You just gonna have to chew it. All right. Two, three, two, one. Down the hatch. This one's a little bit more softer. Yeah. Cocoa does kick in a lot. Mm -hmm. Not really. But taste I the can, almond flavor. Yeah, I taste the almond flavor. I don't know. Oh, I think I like the other one better than I like that one. I like that one. It reminds me of Amaretto. It's Amaretto. A liqueur. <clears throat> Alcohol, basically. Mm. Has that little flavor to it. Mm. Well, it's pretty good. Don't get me wrong, I'm not... I'm not Fashion it in at least a little bit. I don't like the cocoa dust on the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's bitter. So, this is what I was most excited about. These, they're not the same brand, but they're called Frezu Boos, and we called these bonbons whenever I was in high school. They had the cherry kind, which I'm assuming is what this is. Because it looks like a strawberry. Okay. They had strawberry and a green apple. I love them both. The green apple was my favorite. But I did like the strawberries as well. There we go. Let me just kind of bust into this packaging here. Pick one. Well, it's like strawberries. It's just a strawberry candy. In three, <laughs> two, one, down the hatch. Hmm. No, I don't like strawberries, but I like stra artificial strawberry stuff. This is pretty good. Just like I remember them. Just not as. I think the ones, the other brand, has a stronger strawberry flavor. This is just subtle. It was a little bit harder than I was expecting. 
But the more you chew, the more strawberry flavor you get. Mm -hmm. Very good. It does bring back a lot of memories. I claim that bag. Don't anybody ever touch it. <laughs> of course they touch it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, that's our Universal Yum Box for this week, guys. <laughs> yeah. Or for this month, I should say. Uh, this was February's box. Um, very good. I mean, I don't have anything negative to say about it whatsoever. There was nothing that I really didn't like. Right. Everything was had a really good flavor. What was your favorite thing? What's your name right now? The strawberry bum bum? What about you, Case? This. Strawberry bum bum? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm going to go with the chips. I would have to say. Is oh, there's a little spicy cola bar things here. That was really good. So. It would be a tie between uh, chips and strawberry bum bum. The first one we tried with the cheese was really good. Yeah. So let's go to the book here. And find out more about what we just ate. So, the Brits, which was this, this bag here, um, was floral cheese flavored. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Um, the Truffles Bar, which had the four chocolate dusted truffles in it. Um, that was just cocoa dusted truffles. Um, it was really sweet and very delicious. Uh, then we knew about the butter biscuits because we read the little story about those. Uh, the Sabelle chips which were which were these, just a vinegar potato chip. Um, the mini raspberry roll was just a cake roll with a raspberry filling. It was really good. Um, the Sabelle tube. These here, this is just a cheese flavored tube snack. It's like a white cheese bugle. Yeah, like a white cheese bugle, basically. Um, then we got uh, the Samoy dark chocolate with sea salt crystals. I mean, okay. self explanatory there. I like the dark chocolate. And the Frazu Boo, which is chewy strawberry candies. It was basically. Like the, the bonbon uh, brand that I used to eat whenever I was in high school. Uh, the Jaqua almond truffles, just almond flavored truffles. And then we get to the, the stuff that was in the yum bag. So it's a visit to the bonbon shop. Um, so they had the, uh, the little the ones that he didn't like, the one he spit out, was uh, tropical peach tea and cola flavored chews with sour filling. And it says, consider yourself warned. This super sour sweet is about to blow your mind. No, we're not being dramatic. This candy's name, Tex Brulees, literally translate to burnt heads. Don't worry, they won't actually set your head on fire, but their extreme sour filling is much more intense than, you, than the sour candies you're probably used to. We're looking at you, Sour Patch Kids. And with tangy flavors like peach tea, tropical fruit, and zingy cola. But we didn't have the tropical fruit one. All we had was the peach and the cola. Um, but like I said, not a complaint at all. Remember when you chew on peaches, they explode in your mouth. That's right. Uh, they provide... They provide an explosively mouth-watering experience. <laughs> so Anakin was correct for most of that. Yep. Yes, he was. Anakin was correct. Yep. Pop one in your mouth and decide for yourself, are we being dramatic or do these sour candies live up to their mind-blowing name? And then the uh, <coughs> the caramels, or caramels come floor to sale. Uh, they're salted butter caramels. And I could taste that. And then the Tate's Brulee's Gout Cola, which is sour cola bars. Um, it says, picture this, it's 1948, World War II is over, 
and France is liberated, in part thanks to American troops. The Coca-Cola Company decides to introduce Coke to the French market, hoping to capitalize on America's good standing with France. What do you think happened next? Did the French even try it? Did they spit it out in disgust? Did they relish it with wide-eyed wonder? The answer is all of the above. Coke's French debut got all sorts of reactions. Some folks poured it into the gutter, some spit it out, and some sipped it with a smile, despite the initial mixed reactions. France has since come to love the drink today. It's just as popular there as it is in the U.S. Uh, keep all this in mind as you sample this cola candy. Your first reaction to its sourness might be to spit it out, but we think you'll end up smiling even if it's through puckered lips. I thought it was quite nice. They don't say anything in there about the spice, but yeah. it had definitely had a little bit it of had spice. A, it had a little bit of spice to it, but I mean... That's because of the Coca-Cola. Yeah, probably. Possibly. But... Ooh. That's all, guys. There's yeah. recipe in there. Yeah, for uh, Croquet Madame, which is basically... Uh, yolk in a hole, frog in a hole, toad in a hole... Yeah. Toting the hole, something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. That's all we've got for you today, guys. We really yeah. appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell so that way you'll see when each of our lovely faces come across your screens each and every week. Drop a comment down below what you think of the uh, Yum Box. Uh, do you get the Yum Box? Do you know anybody that does? Have you ever tried anything from other, any other countries? I think I asked that in the last one. Um, so, uh, yeah, just drop another comment down below and uh, tell us your experience if you have one with candies or snacks or something from other countries, uh, whether you've tried it here in the States or you've actually gone to that country to try it yourself. Um, other than that, uh, new merch. T-shirts. We got the OG T-shirts with the South Georgia Phoenix on it. And now on, also on uh, Teespring, we have... The new merchandise with the new logo, the new channel logo. So uh, go check it out. We have, I have coffee mugs, I have uh, t-shirts, hoodies, and tank tops. Um, also, uh, we're going to try and, and see if I can get a, some sort of little promotion running. So it might save you a little bit of money on your order. And it will still help bring money in, or you know, still help us out. I've lowered the prices on all the OG merchandise. I realized that I had it way too high. Um, that was my fault in the beginning. I didn't necessarily know what I was doing. Um, but everything's lowered now. I'm only making two or three bucks, I think, off of the shirts, off of everything, actually. Um, so just every little bit goes to help us do things for the channel. It helps us yeah. to purchase things like this or you know shipping for future giveaways stuff like that yeah so uh yeah give us give us some uh, love and support and uh until next time guys keep it popping we'll see you later bye guys bye, 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 bye.